Welcome Never Betters to my YouTube channel. I am so glad you're here. So today I've got a 15 minute yoga stretch break where we are gonna unpack triangle pose. Triangle pose has benefits that can help de-stress our bodies, our minds, and our lives. So if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up, push the bell for future notifications, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You could also check out our website at neverbetteryoga.com. We have got our on-demand program available for you. So let's get after that best version of yourself today. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all. When you are ready, press the play button on the Spotify playlist by following me at Never Better Yoga. Press it now. Then come with me. We're going to start today right in downward facing dog. So a little Adho Mukha Svanasana right from the beginning of your practice. So take a little time to pedal through your feet. Yeah, move slow, move deliberately, move with precision. Now just peel your heels up off. Maybe you keep your knees super bent, but see if you can expand into your side bodies. Now from here, peel both of your heels up, bend your knees, hover and float them over your mat. Let them land, point your toes, come into a little cat with a rounded back, hands spread wide, shoulders stacked over wrists and a little cow to arch your back and look up. Now keep that going. Exhale, pull your navel in. Inhale, arch your back. So yoga allows you to find inner peace that is not ruffled and riled by endless stresses of life. Now that is how B.K.S. Iyengar puts it. Oh, beautifully put. So today we're going to de-stress while we unpack triangle pose. So go ahead and tuck your toes under. Rock your hips back to your heels. Walk your hands right up your thighs. Roll your shoulders up and back. Get a little mobility going on in there. Yeah, roll them up and back. We hold a lot of stress in our shoulders. So triangle has so many amazing benefits. Yeah, it strengthens the back, the core, the hamstrings stretch, the legs stretch, the spine elongates. Now do this by lifting up off your heels. I'm gonna slip my left hand to my hip, inhale on the rise, Exhale on the contract. Just start to move that right shoulder around. Now get a little more mobility by bending the elbow and really finding an element of twist in the upper body as you open up. Just a couple more times, contracting on the way down, opening, expanding on the way up. Now hold up top, levitate the left arm up, Tee your arms and open your heart. Lace your hands, maybe point your toes, retract your shoulders, draw your inner thighs in, lift your gaze up. Now, hands to hips, sit your hips back onto your heels. Circle that left arm around and then add that rise. I like to slip my right hand on my right hip, my left arm circles opening, getting that mobility, not just in the shoulder, but you're twisting the upper body. The twists in our yoga practice, especially that we're going to dive in today in triangle, it's like a massage. It's like a massage for the inner organs. Bend that elbow, paint the sky, breathe in. Two more. Inhaling, 
and exhaling. Now this time, sweep the arms up, breathe in, tee the arms, breathe out. Pull your hands together at heart center. Point your toes, draw your chin to your chest and bring your purpose right into your heart. Let it resonate peace and love and connection and openness as you seal that. Wish your prayer in. Offer it up like a swan dive. Come down, hands onto the mat. Shift the shoulders over the wrist. Bend the arms. Dip your chin, chest, belly. Slither onto the earth. Slide your hands off. Point your toes. Rise the heart up. Breathe in. Exhale, dive back down. Breathe out. Do it again. Rise up. Breathe in. Exhale, back down. This time, hands by ribs. Tuck the toes under, pop the hips up, take your body up and back, down dog. Lift the right leg up, roll open at the hip. Draw the knee to the nose one time. Step it up, dip the back knee down. Offer the arms up, breathe in. Tee the arms, lift the crown of your head, breathe out. Collect your hands, hug into the center of your body your midline as you twist, left upper arm outside the right. Lower your hands down, dock the hips back, dig the right heel in, pump the heart up. Exhale, dive over that right leg. Runner's stretch, Ardha Hanumanasana. Stretch out that right hamstring, slide the right foot in, tuck the left toes under, left hand down, maybe finger pads, possibly a block revolved, modified lunge. Peel the right arm up. Let the twist come from the waistband. Pull the right hip back and peel the right arm up and overhead. Breathe. Now, lower the right hand down. You're going to go ahead and plant both hands. Step back into down dog. Peel the heels up. Pull your belly in. Shift into high plank. Shoulders stack right over the wrists. Then lift forward with your heart a touch more. Lower down to the earth. You've got it. Point your toes. Cobra, keeping your hips grounded or up dog. Lift. Exhale, dive your hips up and back. Down dog. Lift the left leg up. Roll the hip open. Pull the knee to the nose one time. Step it up. Dip the right knee down, opening the right hip flexor. Lift the arms up. Tee the arms, elevate the heart. Collect your hands. Anjali Mudra, press the palms together. Rotate the left shoulder blade back. Let your hands be in the center of your chest. Breathe. Frame that left leg. Rock the hips back. Dig the left heel in. Pump the heart up. Stack the right hip over the knee. Exhale, dive over that front leg, runner stretch. Stretch out the hamstring. Peel that left sole of foot in, right finger pads down, right kneecap lifts, or right hand planted, or maybe right hand on a block. Modified revolved lunge. Stack the right heel over the ball, breathe. Now lower the left hand down, shoot the left leg back, high plank. Go right into chaturanga or lower all the way. Point your toes. Retract the shoulders like you're holding a pencil. Rise the heart up. Lift the crown of the head. Exhale, dive your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Right leg lifts. Roll the hip open. Step the right foot up. Spin the back heel down. Warrior two, rise up. Flip the right palm for peace. Straighten the right leg, reverse your triangle, and then reach the right arm out. Dock the hips back, dive down. Put a little bend in the right leg. Right hand might go to the right shin. Right hand might go to a block outside the right leg. Left rib cage softens, right rib cage lifts. Gaze could possibly go up. 
too much on the neck, no worries. Look down. Now, strengthen the back, strengthen the core. The rotation keeps opening up your heart and chest. It strengthens the back body, but allows that twist, that rinsing and twisting to help keep those organs, the internal organs of yours functioning well. Now breathe. Really activate the legs. They're strong. You're hugging in, but you're making it seem easy, isometrically drawing into the middle of your mat. Now, beautiful. Lower down the left hand. Put a bend in the left leg. Step back, this time downward facing dog. Peel the heels up, shift into high plank, lower down from there. You could always bring your knees down, go chin, chest, belly, or know that you could always take that flow right on out. Moving through vinyasa as you meet your body back together in down dog. Hold up in down dog. Take a nice deep breath in, peel your heels up. Audible sigh out your mouth. Ah, woo beautiful. De-stressing, that's what we're doing. Peel the left heel up, roll the hip open, draw the right hip back. Yes, now draw the left knee right into your nose, nice and tight. Step it up, spin the right heel down, rise your body up, left knee tracks over toe two and three, Warrior two, root down through the outer edge of that right foot. Flip the left palm, peace, arc up and back, reverse warrior. Now straighten the left leg, push into the left toe mound, lengthen the left side body, create space between your left ear and your shoulder as you reach back, reversing your triangle. Now extend your arms, dock the hips back, Tip down, triangle, maybe left hand on shin, maybe left hand on a block, possibly to the outside, or maybe even to the inside of the left leg. Now, can you visualize yourself in between two panes of glass? Really activate, wherever you are, activate the feet, the legs, the core, the back, spiral your heart, spiral your heart, stacking your shoulders so you can look up to the heavens. Breathe, breathe. This is a de-stressing pose. Now lengthen your left side body to equal the right. Spiral a little deeper twist. Rinse out, detoxify. Beautiful, lower the left hand down. Let the left leg step back. Down dog, paddle through the feet. Okay, peel the right leg up, roll the hip open. This time, step right up to triangle pose. Spin the left heel down, pull the right hip back. Spin the left arm up, breathe. Yes, soften the upper rib cage, lengthen the side bodies, gaze up or down, lower the left hand down, step back, down dog. Left leg lifts, roll your hip open. Step it up, knee to nose, triangle, left foot steps, right heel lands, heel to arch alignment, Possibly heel to heel, left hand on shin, maybe finger pads. You choose, right arm lifts up, spiral your heart up and under. Hug in to your own center. Lengthen your side bodies, tone your legs, firm your thighs, your hamstrings, your quads. Breathe. Your ankles, your feet, your core, your back, your heart. Now, lower the left hand down. Triangle pose has the ability not only to de-stress, but to take away anxiety. Peel the heels up, bend the knees, drop the knees to your mat. Point your toes, rock your hips back, 
Sweep your hands alongside your body. Embryo pose, palms up, head down. Just a little thank God asana for your practice. Your yoga practice has the capability of helping you de-stress by moving, by twisting, by breathing, by creating strength, focus, and balance in your life. Taking that practice on your mat with all of those benefits into the real practice of life. Walk your hands right up your thighs. Stretch your arms out and up. Breathe in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Breathe out. And just come with me, finishing off to a comfortable seat, a little sukhasana. Stretch out and up with all of the blessings in your life. Gather them into your hands, that Anjali Mudra. Solidify as you draw your chin to your chest. Let the peace, the clarity, the de-stressing of your yoga practice benefit not only your life, but the lives of those around you. Now look up. Let's all finish off together. One ohm to home. Sip your breath in. Now go on out and be a blessing. Namaste. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time. Morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight.